Muck and Geordie's Buyer, uh, a two-parted 6-8 March. Um, not a bad tune at all. A couple of little bits that will catch you out. Probably, especially in the first bar, is one of the most difficult bars in the tune, if not the most difficult bar in the tune. So we're just going to break this down into, into bars and phrases. Uh, we're going to go for the first phrase then. As I said, the, the, the first bit that's going to catch out is probably this here short A with the G, a D grace note down to the low G and a D grace note back up to the low A again. So we're just going to have a wee look at that first of all. We're going to play this low A here after the Tour of Luth. And we're going to play just that big group there. So nice and slow. And you don't want to overcut this this uh, low A here. Um, as soon as you finish the G grace note, you place the D grace note onto the low G. So let's just try that first bar now then. We're going to start on the E. G grace note down to the low A and then the Tour of Earth. And the Tour of Earth, like all Tour of Earths, this E grace note, it's really important that it lands right on the note that you're playing it to, in this case the low A. After two, one, two. One, two. One, two. There's nothing really in the next bar at all that should catch you out. So you've got this low A, a throw on D, E, F, Dublin and high A. Making sure you get a good low G in the throw on D, but don't make it too long. And then the G grace note to the F is the most important part about the F Dublin. So from the low A then, before the throw on D. After two. One, two. One, two. And remember, in the metric accent of a of a six eight march is strong weak, so you hold this first note in every bar unless the notes cut, um, and in this tune, that doesn't happen. So you would put a, a, an emphasis on the first note in every bar. So let's go for that full phrase now then after two. One, two. One, two. One, two. To the next phrase. I'm going to start on this high A. Nothing in here that should catch you out. So it's a strike to high G. E, F, Dublin. Again, making sure that this G grace note lands nice and neat on the F. And then hold the E. Short F to the D. And then the three, the, the notes just progress up the scale, the B, C, D. After two, one, two. One, two. Okay, let's go for the full line now then. One, two. And 
on to the second line the first phrase is almost identical the only difference is that you go to this high G throw here at the end instead of the high A so instead of this high A you go to this high G throw so we're just going to do this whole phrase then after two one two <laughs> One, two. We're going to go from this high G and then the last phrase. Now one little bit that might catch you out in, the, in this last phrase here is this first note in the group of three is cut. So everywhere else um, it actually happens here as well on this low A. But most of these other notes are all, all dotted. Alright, so just making sure that you cut this here. So just listen to it then. So after two then. One. Two. One, two. So we're going to do the whole tune, uh, the whole bar, <laughs> sorry, the whole part now uh, on the metronome. And we're going to set the metronome really quite slow. And um, we're not going to use a polyrhythm in this. We're going to set the metronome at, we're going to try 44 BPM. Just really slow and deliberate. Making sure that you bring out the metric accent. So what we're going to do, we're going to repeat the part. After this D, you go to the E. And then we're going to go into the first beat group of the second part. This here might catch out, but we'll cover this in the second part. So we're going to play the first part twice. Second time through, we go into just the start of the second part. So after a count of two then, one, two. So under the first phrase of the second part, and we're going to go first of all from this D, and we're just going to run up a quick E, F, and on to the thumb grace note to the high G. Let's try that first bar now then. Again after two, we're going to start in this D, then we're going to play the quick notes up and finish here on the bar, at the end of the bar. One, two. One, two. In the next bar, we're going to take it from the high G. It's a thumb grace note to the F. Then an F grip, quick F up to the high A. And then down to the F again. So just watch this quick F. This might also catch you out. But it's a quick F up to the high A. So from the high G. One, two. 
One, two. One, two. So let's do the, the, the whole phrase again then, just starting in this day. One, two. One, two. So the next phrase then, <clears throat> start on the F and we'll come down onto an E with the grace note, the grip on the E, run up to the high G, E, F, high G, thumb grace note to the F, E, D, and then the progression up again here. So nothing here really that will catch out, so we'll do this whole phrase. So from the F, one, two. One, two. One, two. So let's do that whole line now then. So we're going to go from the D, from this D, after two. One, two. And the last line of the chin is exactly the same as the second line. So this line here is exactly the same as this second line of the second part. So let's do the whole part then on the metronome at 44 BPM. After a count of two. One, two. Okay, so we're going to do the whole tune now, repeat each part, uh, and we're going to do it um, a bit faster, 50 BPM, uh, just making sure that you're still forming all the embellishments correctly, and, and just taking your time nice and slow. So after a count of two then, one, two.